I watched another movie off my DVR and got to delete it. The movie I watched was 2017's The Hitman's Bodyguard. It stars Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, Salma Hayek, Gary Oldman, and Elodie Young. My rating for The Hitman's Bodyguard is a 3 out of 5, and here's why. If you saw my previous review, I did review another movie starring Ryan Reynolds with Six Underground, and I mentioned how horrible that movie was. With The Hitman's Bodyguard, it's a lot better, but not the greatest. Ryan Reynolds plays this executive protection agent, basically a bodyguard for high-profile people. With the situation presented, he ends up being the bodyguard for a hitman. The hitman is played by Samuel L. Jackson. This hitman is testifying against a criminal to which that criminal is attacking them to prevent them from getting to court. The story is simple enough, well laid out in the movie. The hitman's bodyguard is a lot of fun. It's just good fun. Not the greatest action movie I've seen. Some of the tropes and some of the action sequences were typical, convenient, and not too extravagant. These action sequences in The Hitman's Bodyguard is well directed in comparison to Ryan Reynolds' other movie that I watched, Six Underground by Michael Bay. There was some shaky camera action sequences in this movie, but these action sequences were well done to where there wasn't too much shaky camera action sequences and not too much shaking to where you can't really tell what's going on in the action sequence. The acting was great from everybody. This movie is also a comedy where some of the jokes did hit and some jokes missed. The Hitman's Bodyguard is a fun movie, a very decently well-made buddy action comedy. That is my review of The Hitman's Bodyguard. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the Spellgo YouTube channel if you haven't, stay safe, wash your hands, stay home, do our best to try to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And as always, thank you for watching.